I can play it back right away. Everyone, welcome back. So I'm using one of my screen recorders to record me trying out another screen recorder. I saw it once from someone else showing me around and it looks like this might be a great solution for a lot of you. If you're thinking of having a screen recorder in breakout rooms or in a main uh, online facilitation where you want to record some role plays and play it back in real time. So I am going to download and see how quickly I can do this because I have a meeting soon to talk about this. So by now, and I'm definitely going to want the PC version. Um, just signed up with credit card for one month. There is a free version, but I've heard that it comes and goes pretty quickly to really give this a try. Um, the one year doesn't look too bad either. And I'm going to click the download button right here. Open. Yes. Allow. Install. That's the thing too, screen recorders are great if you're trying to even show someone else how to take the steps. Once you've done it, sometimes it's one and done and I'm going to click start now. Now I'm using another screen recorder to show you this. Hmm, I'm going to click that out because now it's unregistered. Um, so I'll go back and look at some of that, but I'm just going to click the video recorder and full screen. Um, if you're using only one monitor, you might sometimes want custom. If you're, you have your zoom meeting on one side and, um, and you've got other things going on the other side, then you might want to do custom, but this is a good setting here and then just we'll see how this works because I have another screen recorder going but I'm going to just click record and 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 then the nice thing about this too is this doesn't really disappear so you can have other things going on you might be even sharing screen um, or you have other people on your Zoom meeting right here. I'll demonstrate that to you in a Zoom meeting, but it's going right now. So I can press pause or stop. And when I click stop, it right away brings up the video that I just recorded. But I want it in real time. This was literally that quick. Not a lot of learning curve. Um, and I can re-record, I can just save. Um, you want to look at then where it's being saved. Next. Um, trial version only save three minutes of each recording. To, so this is good to know. I did register, so it could be I have to go through my emails to actually activate. Save anyways. Um, and then I can play it back for for my meeting. Um, so this is something to watch out too, that it's going to go big like this. If you have multiple things going on in, in your, um, on one screen, it's certainly easier when you ha can work with a couple screens and double check in my emails about this too. Open up the icon that just loaded on my computer and see if I need to put in hmm, maybe I need to register yes hmm. activate successful registered video converter I don't need so it's going to be showing some potential other offers, but let's do this again. I'm click on the icon and so, and you know, and then it is right here. Click 
recorder. I'm going to do the full for myself and click start. Um, so it does, you, you want to pay attention to that delay, um, that three, two, one, so before someone starts their role play. But then it's right here. Um, so it's come to the bottom. When I'm in Zoom, I might, you might just need to click escape so it's not covering over top of the recorder. And I, you could pull it to your next um, screen too if that is what works best for your setup. I can pause, I can stop, and, and then it comes up right away where I can then, um, I can save it or re-record it, but I can play it back right away. This, But if I save it, it's just giving a number. I'll go next, um, and then it's right here that I can play it back just by clicking. That's So the latest one's on the top um, by double clicking, or I can press play here as well and I can record more. It brings it back up again. Um, so here with sound, I want to change source and that's where it's coming through. It's more the mic and right now, change mic source because that was off. Um, so that's something you wanna pay attention to We'll just click that, okay. And I wanna turn the mic on. So now it's going to pick up the sound. Um, if I, so I'm gonna click record, and then three, two, one. Hi, this is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services testing out a brand new screen recorder. It is at the bottom here, and now I'm gonna click stop which then right away brought it up. So let's hear if there's sound now that I activated the Hi, mic. this is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. So, and then I can just hit save next. So there's a couple buttons to, uh, to press, but it is a fantastic option, super simple in real time. And I will double check how long this took. Um, let's see here along my other recorder. Under 15 minutes, I downloaded, activated it, figured it out. That's how simple and easy this new recorder option um, is. If you do use OBS, I have another video about that. Um, Cyberlink Power Director is what I've been using for years. That is what is screen recording, this screen recorder. But when I'm teaching other people and uh, recommending, this is going to be one of my top recommendations now because it is that easy and simple to, for someone else to pick up and use. Thanks for checking this out and for my review and setup with this phone paw screen recorder, if I'm saying that right. And um, if I have a link, I'll put it in the description. Thanks for checking this out. Until next time, I hope you have some light bulb learning moments and that you're able to create, facilitate, engaging learning experiences online and turn an audience into participants. Thanks again.